lot of fun when I pose him like this. It's like, man, this figure is really cool. So if you haven't picked up a Vader, highly recommend it. He is super cool. Hey, what's going on? It's Sean Solo 8, and I'm back with another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. From Star Wars The Obi-Wan Kenobi Wave, we have Darth Vader. Now, the vintage collection is called the Dark Times Darth Vader, and this one's just called Darth Vader. Also, if you check out my review, I do have the vintage collection version on the channel, and he comes with two sets of hands. It's just absolutely insane, and it seems, you know, you would think the Black Series is a massive upgrade. But anyway, we are going to compare him to the original Darth Vader from, well, not the original, the Empire Strikes Back Vader. We will check him out in this video too, but in package, you can see, yeah, he just comes with one lightsaber. So obviously that should be a removable blade. Uh, on the side of the package, it is a pretty cool image. It just says Darth Vader. And on the back, Darth Vader is number two in the Obi-Wan Kenobi wave. He does come with a short little bio. Feel free to pause and read that. But without further ado, let's open up Darth Vader and let's take a closer look. Boom! Obi-Wan Kenobi's Darth Vader is out of the package in just a static pose with his cape. It does come in the back of the plastic, which is kind of neat. You can see he holds his saber extremely well. He only does come with these two hands, which I think is a complete bummer, but immediately I do notice a lot of differences from the previous version. But before anything else, let's put him in a few poses and see how cool we can make this guy look. And here's Darth Vader holding his saber with both hands, and he does look pretty cool. His legs are a little bit loose on mine, and of course you can see how massive this cape is. It is pretty epic. I did appreciate that in the Empire Strikes Back version. But uh, really, if you already have the Empire Strikes Back version, uh, I probably wouldn't recommend getting this if you're on a tight budget at all. But you can't deny he looks absolutely cool. Let's try another pose. And here's one final pose of Darth Vader in a pretty cool like swing and about to attack pose. I think this guy looks really cool. I had a lot of fun when I posed him like this. I was like, man, this figure is really cool. So if you haven't picked up a Vader, highly recommend it. He is super cool. Let's pull him up a little bit closer and show off some differences and we'll go from there. But first of all, I do have to show you, let me turn off this turntable how huge this cape is guys wait till you see this i know i showed it off in my empire strikes back review but just check this out how massive this thing is and that's something that i do appreciate it's almost like batman but how cool is that look absolutely insane so you could really get him in some amazing poses in fact i do want to do just one more pose uh with you guys and that's just a, a menacing pose with uh, maybe the saber in the front like this, and then this coming over to the sides, but like that. So yes, you can have this guy on your shelf looking absolutely cool, absolutely fantastic. Now, really quick for a uh, height comparison, let's just, I do have Palpatine nearby, but let's check that out. Yeah, so that does look really, really good. Also, let me pull out the Empire Strikes Back Vader. And it almost seems like the Empire version uh, is taller. That is crazy. Let's have a look at the legs. Uh, no, they're, they're probably about the same, but you can see the eyes in the new Obi-Wan Kenobi version are definitely a little bit more red. Uh, let's start with the sabers. So the one on the left is the Empire Strikes Back version, and the one on the right is the new Kenobi version. But the sabers, yeah, they are absolutely identical. So there's no difference there at all. Now, Vader's helmet. Let me just pop focus on there. There you go. You can see... They almost look the same. At first, I thought the one on the left was a little bit smaller. It almost looks like the helmet on the left is a little bit shinier. Underneath, they still have the same silver paint, but uh, you can see right here, yeah, this triangle is a little bit smaller, so that is definitely different. 
the mask almost looks the same. Let me know in the comments below what you think. The helmet is pretty squishy on both figures. Uh, I do wish, yeah, I do like the eyes on this one a lot better. They are way more clear, so uh, that's a bonus. The shoulder pieces, you can see they look the same, except this one's painted. You can tell it's the same, actually. One's painted and the other's not. Uh, the arms look identical. The glove is identical. The hand is identical. The center chest plate is actually different. This one is a lot bigger, where this one's a lot smaller, but it does look pretty cool. Uh, the cod piece is the same mold, except again, it's shinier on the Empire Strikes Back version. His boots are the same, feet are the same, and even the cloth goods are the same. The one I don't have is the New Hope version. Uh, this is a lot looser, like they give us more material on the Empire Strikes Back version. But overall, yeah, they look the same. Let me just go complain, actually, about his articulation. The head doesn't have very much movement at all, uh, which yeah, you really don't need on Vader, but it, it would be a nice little touch. The arm pops up about that high. He does have single-jointed elbow. He does have inwards hinge uh, on both hands. There is barely any crunch forward and back, side to side. Kicks up forward, kicks back about there, upper swivel cut, kicks out about that far, single, no, oh, double jointed knee, old school knees. And of course, a rocker with a hinge on the bottom. And also, when it comes to kneeling, he doesn't kneel as good as you would like. There's just like no way to crunch him forward. And I tried for probably a good five minutes here and that's the best you're gonna get out of it. I mean, you can fold his arm over both sides and make it uh, at a certain angle look like he is talking to the emperor, uh, but yeah, it's just not gonna work. You know, he's just gonna wanna tilt one way or the other. Overall, I would say the 3.75 version is definitely superior, but being a six inch collector, you do have to have Vader so is he ready for an update i would say yes this would have been a perfect time to give vader an update and uh, they didn't and they left us without extra hands but overall uh again i think it's fantastic if you haven't picked one up highly highly recommended thanks for checking out today's video check out one of these videos up on the screen and i will see you guys in the next video